Now, if you want to understand what it takes to become a millionaire in just a year, the first thing you got to understand is what's the difference between making a million dollars a year versus being a millionaire. Making a million dollars a year is what I just talked about. This means that your job is paying you a million dollars a year. This means that you have your investments paying you a million dollars a year, or this means that your business is making you a million dollars a year. So a million dollars a year means every single year you're making a million dollars. Being a millionaire means that you are worth a million dollars. The way that you calculate this is you take your assets and you subtract your liabilities and then that gives you your net worth. So if you are worth a million dollars, then you are a millionaire. So now you can add up your assets. Let's say you have $100,000 in the bank. You own your home worth $300,000. That's $400,000 worth of assets. And let's assume that you also have another $100,000 in the stock market. Now you have assets worth $500,000, and let's say you have $50,000 worth of debt. So $500,000 minus $50,000 is $450,000, which is your net worth. If you have assets minus liabilities worth more than a million dollars, now you are a millionaire. So you could have a million dollars worth of investments. You could have a million dollars worth of rental real estate that you own, and this money, if you have a 9% return a year, that is $90,000 a year that you're making. So you are a millionaire, but you're not making a million dollars a year. You have a million dollars worth of assets, and these assets are still paying you, in this case, $90,000 a year, but you're not making a million dollars a year. So you gotta understand the difference between this and this. The next thing that you really have to understand is the hidden effort that it takes to become a millionaire. And the best way to think about that is just to think of an ice cube. So if you take an ice cube out of the freezer and you put it into somewhere where it is still cold, it is 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and now, if you take the temperature and you start to raise it up one degree at a time, you go from 10 degrees to 11 degrees to 12 degrees to 13 degrees to 14 degrees, the ice cube is not gonna melt. And you can keep raising the temperature, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and at some point you might think, you know, I've raised the temperature so much but the ice cube hasn't changed a bit. It is still ice. And now you go 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And if you stop at 31, you're gonna say, well, I put in all this effort to melt the ice, but nothing has happened because the ice is still ice. And so you put in all this hidden effort between zero degrees up to 31 degrees, and you haven't seen any change yet because the ice is still ice. But as soon as you make that one little small change from 31 to 32 and 32 to 33, now all of a sudden, your ice is gonna start melting. And so all you had to go was just that one kind of little degree more, and now you hit that breaking point. You hit the melting point, and now this ice is gonna turn to water. And so the way to becoming a millionaire works the exact same way. You have all this hidden effort that you're gonna have to put in, all this hidden work that you're gonna have to put in that you might not see kind of where the results are, but as soon as you hit that breaking point, as soon as you hit the melting point, that's when the results come in. Like one person could be worth $999,000. They could have $999,000 worth of investments and still they're not a millionaire. And another person could be worth $100. For this person to go and become a millionaire, all this person has to do is get another $1,000 and now they're a millionaire. But for this person to become a millionaire, now they're gonna need essentially a whole million dollars. The thing that everybody sees and everybody gets excited about is how you go from 999,000 to a million dollars because now you're a millionaire. But the hard part and the thing that requires all the work is how do you go from here to here? The final steps are gonna happen faster and easier. And as you get closer to here, yeah, you'll be able to see much bigger returns in a year and go to that million dollar level. But when you're starting off here, going from here to here can take you a long time because you have to go through the learning curve. You have to learn how to attract more money. You have to learn how to invest your money, you have to learn how to grow your money. And so here to here is where all the effort goes in. And this is the process where everyone's trying to figure out how to become a millionaire overnight, but there's a lot of work required. Because right now, your ice cube is at 10 degrees, and you gotta figure out how can you get it up to 31 degrees. Because once you get to 31 degrees, all you need is one degree more, and now, you're getting the big changes. Now you're gonna make the major changes because now you're hitting the tipping point. You hit that melting point where now you can really start to see the change and in this case, that millionaire level. It is much easier to become a millionaire than it is to make a million dollars a year. Anybody can become a millionaire. All you need is time and the right financial education because now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of your money and you're gonna keep investing it. Now you're gonna earn more money and you're gonna keep investing that too. And now over time, you are gonna slowly turn your money into a million dollars by consistently growing your wealth, growing your money on the side and keep fueling this fire by adding more money into that pit. 
making a million dollars a year requires you to now work to increase your income. Now, a lot of people are not gonna be able to make a million dollars a year from their job alone. It's just facts. And so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to work to earn more money. Even two jobs are not gonna cut it for 99% of people. So if you wanna make a million dollars a year, you're gonna have to start your own business. You're gonna have to create your own product and you're gonna have to sell enough of this product to generate a million dollars a year. So there's more risk required here and you're gonna have to do different things than just work in the job, but it is possible, but here, this is possible for anyone when you have the right financial education. The last thing that I want you to understand about being a millionaire before we get into actually what you need to do is there's a difference between being a millionaire on paper and actually being a millionaire. So here's an example of that. Let's say you go out and you start investing your money and you buy yourself this rental property and you bought this property for a steal. You bought it for $150,000. Now, 10 years go by and let's assume that a lot of money flows into this neighborhood. You have new business is coming in, you have a lot of people that want to live here, and now all of a sudden the property values in this area start skyrocketing, and this property that you own is now worth on paper a million dollars. And so now you own a million dollar property, and you bought this property for $150,000, and this other money, this $150,000 to a million, is almost like imaginary money right now because that is what your property is worth but you don't actually know that for sure until you sell your property because the price of any asset is determined by what it will actually sell for. Because you might think it's worth a million dollars, but if no one's willing to pay you a million dollars, then is it really worth a million dollars? No. But in this case, let's assume that your property is actually worth a million dollars and people are willing to pay you a million dollars. Now, you have this kind of like nest egg that's sitting there, this property that's worth a million dollars, but this money isn't in your bank account. I mean, you can't go out and spend this cash unless you pull out a refinance on this property and now you have this cash in the bank that you can go out use to spend, but now you have to pay this money back plus interest. It's the exact same thing in the stock market. If you go out and you find a really hot stock that you want to invest in, let's just call it company X. This can be whatever company you want and you put in $100,000 and a few years go by and this company takes off. This company goes all the way up tenfold and now you have a million dollars in the stock. Yeah, you have a million dollars on paper, but again, this million dollars isn't yours until you sell this property or you sell this stock. But you gotta remember here as well that just because you're worth a million dollars today doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be worth a million dollars tomorrow here because the stock market could crash. If that happens and your investment gets cut in half, now you're no longer a millionaire. And so there are pros and cons here because yes, there's a risk to keeping all this cash in your hand because now your cash is gonna be eaten away by inflation, but there's also a risk to keep your money in the investment because if the market crashes, if property values fall or if stock prices fall, now your investment value, your millionaire status could also fall as well. In general, when it comes to preserving your wealth over the long term, you want to have your money in assets, not cash, because cash is always losing value because as more money is printed, your cash gets diluted and your cash loses value. But assets over the long term go up. Yes, there can be crashes, but over the long term, if you have a good asset, it will hopefully continue to go up. This is where having a good strategy with your money and your investments is so important because you want to make sure that you're protected against anything. So this could be investing your money for passive income or cash flow. That's these properties, even if property values fall, you still have enough cash flow to support you and your lifestyle. And that could also mean by diversifying your money into different assets or asset classes. That might mean having some money in stocks. That might be investing in different stock sectors. That might mean investing in different stock markets across the world. That might mean investing in different assets like stocks and real estate, maybe cryptocurrency. Now, let's go back to the original question of how can you actually become a millionaire? By the way, if you are interested in learning more about how to actually manage your money and invest your money, that's why we wrote a free guide on money management and investing. And you can read this guide for free when you sign up for our daily newsletter. So if you wanna read our free guide and start getting a newsletter, I got the link to how you can do that in the description below. But one of the easiest things that you can do is create a financial system for your money. I like to call it our 75, 15, 10 plan. This is one of the things that I recommend. You don't have to follow this plan exactly, but just one of my recommendations. What this says now is for every dollar that you earn, 75 cents is the maximum that you can spend, 15 cents is the minimum you should be investing, and 10 cents is the minimum you should be saving. Once you have a good savings cushion, emergency cushion, this could mean somewhere between three months and a year's worth of expenses depending on your risk tolerance. You wanna take this saving money and put it here towards your investments because your investments are what's gonna make you wealthy. And so the faster you can invest your money, the more aggressively that you can invest, the faster that you're gonna hit this million dollar number or whatever number you're going for, that way you can build your wealth and stop working so much because now you have your investments paying for your lifestyle.
If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide that goes over what passive income is, how to start generating passive income, and different passive income strategies. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>